Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. It's now time to move on to irrational numbers. Look at this centimeter scale. We have divided each centimeter into 10 equal parts. And we know that we can assign a rational number to each part. So the first one would be 1 by 10, 2 by 10, 3 by 10, 4 by 10, 5 by 10 and so on. But there are gaps in between the places of the numbers we have picked. That means there are infinitely many more numbers left on the number line which we have not marked. Now look at this scale. This is also a centimeter scale in which we have divided each centimeter into 20 equal parts. Clearly, in spite of making 20 parts, there are gaps between the places of the numbers that we have picked. That would mean that even if we divide into 100 equal parts, there would still be gaps in between the places of the numbers that we can pick. That means there are numbers which cannot be written in the form p by q where q is not 0. Or in other words, there are some more numbers other than rational numbers. And those numbers are called irrational numbers. Hence for now we define that a number s is called irrational number if it cannot be written in the form p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0. And like we have infinitely many rationals in the same way we have infinitely many irrational numbers some of the examples are under root of 2 under root of 3 under root of 5 under root of 6 under root 7 pi or a number like 0 0.1011010 triple one which is not ending and nor it is repeating. It is also clear that all these irrational numbers would be somewhere in between the gaps that could not be marked on the number line. So if we consider the collection of rational numbers and irrational numbers, there will be no other numbers left on the number line. And we call such a collection as real, real numbers. numbers. And they are defined as which is basically collection of rational and irrational numbers. And they are denoted by capital R. So we come to a conclusion that every real number is either a rational or irrational number. Also, every point on number line represents a unique real number and hence from now on, we will call it real number line. 